thank you. And with low water is on the mighty Mississippi and drought conditions across southeast Minnesota, a dangerous pest may be lurking in the shallow, still parts of the water. Noah Kaplan was in Wabasha in search of more information on a potentially dangerous algae. What'd you find, Noah? That's right, Tom and Caitlin. Cyanobacteria, more commonly known as blue-green algae, is a bacteria most likely found in shallow, still waters, or alternatively, where algae grows. It's incredibly dangerous to young children and pets. Because of the low waters and the high temperature in June, uh, we're experiencing the weeds are growing faster and the algae is coming sooner. Blue-green algae is spreading in Minnesota. Officials in the southeast part of the state call this a fairly recent development. There's been more reports up by Lake Pepin. So, what is blue-green algae and for whom is it most dangerous? It's not really an algae, it's a bacteria. So that's what makes it more dangerous to your pets and your kids, especially little kids. Ingesting the contaminated water is what can cause serious problems for pets and kids. Uh, I think it's always a concern and something to watch for if we're having, you know, these conditions continuing. So how do you prevent a buildup of algae? This marina here has aerators in place throughout. These aerators keep the water from stagnating. And in these dry conditions, still water is optimal growing space for this kind of algae. Once weeds and algae or anything get a, a firm hold, it's much harder to get rid of them. So we just start that immediately in the spring and that helps us. The best advice for avoiding this algae is to avoid shallow areas of water, along with being able to identify what it looks and smells like. Just to be on the safe side, I would caution against, you know, uh, swimming in it or letting your pets uh, swim in it. If you can pick it up with a stick or you know you see it has roots attached to it, it's likely the real algae, not necessarily the blue-green algae. And in addition to issues with algae growth, we found that also weeds were growing out of control in the water due to the same conditions. They were at levels that they don't usually reach until August and although not poisonous like blue-green algae, they can cause serious damage to boat propellers. Back to you. Interesting.